good morning good morning good morning everybody good morning and welcome to the aroma of prayer with your own dr tanya williams good morning children of the most high god and heirs and joint heirs with christ we have the righteousness of god and the evil one touches us and not good morning to you welcome 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 to the aroma of prayer thank you so much for for your patience i um Last night was, uh, yesterday rather, was end of month and end of quarter for me at work. And um, I didn't finish working last night till midnight. And um, I just got, I just got in the bed maybe about 12, 31 o'clock. So uh, it took me a minute to get myself together this morning. So I thank you for your patience. Good morning to you. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Aroma a prayer with your own Dr. Tanya Williams. Happy July to you. Happy July. Happy July. Happy July. Happy July. Good morning. I see all of you coming in. Good morning and blessings to you. Thank you so much for taking the opportunity to join me this morning. When you get the opportunity, share the love. Share the love. We know one thing. Sharing is caring and caring is sharing. And if you care about people, you care about their lives, you care about the their 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 guidance and their direction in the Lord share 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 this might be something that encourages someone or build build someone up uh today to get them to where they they need to go in life so again thank you for the opportunity for me to come and join you this day good morning and welcome so I'm gonna get get started uh again much to accomplish but uh we'll be ready to move and to shake amen amen i just love to see you guys you you guys are so very responsive uh you're very engaging and i love that i it lets me know that as i'm teaching you are enjoying the teaching and you are uh definitely you know uh a part a part of what i'm doing and uh, and and um and um and and, and I'm great I'm great I'm grateful for that I'm definitely grateful for that, and um, <clears throat> yes we're definitely grateful for that. So again, God bless you. So this morning my topic is for those of you that are listening uh, to the sound of my voice my my uh, my topic this morning is God is completing everything. Uh huh. God, God is completing everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the hour we have finished the first six months of the year. Now we're going to this the next six months. So we're actually right now at the halfway mark. Between we we were teetering uh, last night to today at the halfway mark of the year. We have now entered to the seventh month of the twelve months of of the year. So we're coming down to the next six months. And so as I was up this morning i was asking lord lord what should i share with your people and he wants you to be encouraged that in spite of what has happened and what and what has transpired over the last six months and there's been some some crazy six months there's been some challenging six six months there's been some life and death six months it's been it's been some six months that we have never seen before or even thought that we would ever experience before but the lord has brought us through right and because he brought us through where we're entering into the other side of of the year the lord spoke to me this morning and he gave me the scripture and again i think i've taught on this a few times but he gave it to me again and he said i want you to tell my people that uh psalm 138 and 8 uh reading from the new king james version that god will perfect everything everything that concerns you everything god will perfect god this will not be the working of a man but this will be the working of the holy ghost god is going to be the one that's going to perfect everything that concerns us the lord is in the midst of doing a new thing i keep saying i keep listening to the words that the father has been giving over the last couple of weeks whether he's saying we're metamorphosing we're changing we're transitioning we're transforming there's a shift uh of your 
your next run you know it's 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 it's, it's the words are continuous and they're on they're in the same vein as well in the same flow we are becoming you know i listen and you know even as the spirit of the lord gives me the unction in this hour to speak his word and to share with his people there there is a theme behind each and every one of them and just having the sensitivity to know what the father is saying and flow accordingly so again the bible declares god will perfect everything that concerns you or god will perfect that which concerneth me yes uh -huh. god will perfect everything that concerns you and i you know understanding and knowing that you know the lord will fulfill his purpose for us he will fulfill his purpose for us in spite of what it looks like in spite of what the devil is trying to say in spite of what the circumstances and situations present themselves to you god is going to perfect that great thing in your life uh-huh whether it's the assignment the call the lord has an agenda and he has a plan for you and we stand on it knowing that every plan and purpose that the lord has for you he will do what he will bring it to pass no matter what things may look like god will never abandon the work that he has started in you because he god is about investments i want you to lay your hands on yourself and say the lord has invested in me yes sir the Lord has invested in me. The Lord has invested in me. God is about investments. And he and He is not one to walk away from his investments. Uh, he is a God of investments. Uh-huh. And he will do what he will ultimately complete his work. He will ultimately complete the work that he has started in you to bring into fruition. Uh-huh. No way can, can God stop doing what he does because he is God. So I want you to lay your hands on yourself and say, the Lord has invested in me. Yes, sir. The Lord, sometimes the enemy make you feel as though, you know, he, he has forgotten about you, but the Lord has and still is investing in you. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. 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 Sometimes you got to prophesy to yourself. Sometimes you got to speak that thing into the atmosphere. You know, over the last few weeks, I've been getting calls and counseling from people. And they were like, oh, Doc, you know, things aren't going the way I thought that they should be going. Oh, Doc, you know, I feel as though, you know, this time and this hour in a my life has, has has gone has gone forth and I and, and, and I've missed certain things but I come to let you know that God is in control. He sure is God is in control. Okay guys hold on one second my conference call dropped. Your call. There are a lot. Okay. The host has joined the conference. Sorry about that conference call, people. I just saw my phone drop. So sorry about that. You guys are still on, though. Yes, you guys are still on. Okay, where was I? You always got. You always get a distraction when you have a good word, right? Okay, so. No matter what things look like, yeah, the Lord, the Lord will perfect those things which concerns me. The Lord will perfect those things which concerns me. Sometimes you got to prophesy to yourself. Sometimes you got to speak into the atmosphere. Sometimes you got to stand in agreement according to the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. When I looked up the word perfect, you know, again, many, many of you, you know how I am. You know, I said, I always like to go to the dictionary. I always like to go to the Bible dictionary to get an understanding of what I'm say sometimes depending on again when you are studying scripture sometimes it's also good as well to um sometimes it's also good as well to um to um to um get the hebrew as well as the greek to get the hebrew as well as the greek because that definitely breaks it down and it gives you a really good understanding 
of um of the word itself or the scripture or the area that you're dealing with so when i looked up the word perfect the dictionary it defines it as to bring to completion or to finish to bring to completion or um, to finish it says to satisfy the necessary conditions or requirements for the transfer so that means you can transfer a gift or or a title so again the lord is working on us because there there are some necessary conditions there are some necessary conditions or requirements that need to be birthed forth in us for us to get to our next do you hear me there's some necessary conditions or requirements that need to be birthed through us and in us to get us to our next uh, another definition is to make something completely free from faults or defects or or as close to such a condition as possible. Precisely accurate, exact. So you could say this. So if I would take those 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 definitions that I just gave uh, each and every one of you, I would say that the Lord will bring to completion and finish that which concerns me. He will satisfy the necessary conditions or requirements of that which concerns me. The Lord will make this problem completely free from faults and defects. The Lord will work out this problem to be precisely accurate and exact for me. So let me break down each and every one of those items right, right, right there. So we, so we find here that what the lord will bring he will bring to completion and finish that which concerns me so everything that seems out of sort everything that seems out of alignment you will find that the lord is is about completing and finishing you know so many times i've seen so many good good people they have great ideas and they start strong but they're horrible finishers and we don't want to ever be to a point where 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 we start strong and then all of a sudden you got so many irons on the fire and you don't have the strength to bring it through you don't have the strength to bring bring it through but we thank God that what God is doing in our lives not only is he starting it but he's also perfecting it as well he's also completing it he's also finishing it the worst thing is to have a cook that has that has Five, five and six pots on the stove and and never and never can present a meal because either you you either you you leave you leave the food it either burns up or or you don't put the the, the fire on and it's never cooked properly and so you never bring it to um completion and so sometimes when you find people like that you don't really follow them or, or, or really take really take um uh seriously what they say because they're good because they're good starters they can talk a good talk a good game but they have a problem and and finishing it they have a problem in finishing it so this is the hour now that we have to be to a point and where in which we're finishing what uh we started this is the hour now that we are finishing what we started we are finishing what we started amen finishing what we started the next thing we want to look at is the king the king james version word for perfect is is, is well chosen the niv uses the verb vindicate vindicate i was sharing with somebody the other day and they were like dr williams you know I, i'm you know <clears throat> i'm just so upset you know concerning the situation you know this person really treated me bad treated me wrong and he said i really want to put my uh two cents in and i told them i said the bible says um he says to fret not thyself over evil doers and be not envious against the workers of iniquity because they soon shall be brought down understand and know this that you know the lord is your vindicator the lord is your vindicator and i was sharing with somebody the other day i said sometimes you got to give up your right to be right you got to give up your right to be right. Is that a, t a term that I have to live by sometime? Absolutely. Why? Because the Bible tells you the blessed are the peacemakers. We want to be peacemakers. We want to be those in this hour that when, um, you know, the strife and all kinds of discord comes 
in our lives. We want to be able to be what? To bring things together. We want to be the restorer of the breach. We want to be able to, to walk in a level of peace. The worst thing is to be around individuals and people. And, and there's always that, that, that elephant in the room or that underlying issue or that underlying con con condition you want to be to a place in this hour and the season and this time that you may be able to walk according to his word and walk according to his purpose and be strengthened and strengthened in this season so got to understand and know that when the lord said that he will perfect those things he is also a vindicator so and so in this particular scripture the lord is saying i will vindicate you I, I will vindicate you. What the Bible tells us to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And then in the new in the New Living Version, the word in, in this particular scripture, per, per, perfect means work out. God is going to work it out. While you were trying to figure it out, while you're trying to figure it out, God is getting ready to work it out. Do you hear me? While you were trying to figure it out, God is getting ready to work it out. And I'm just excited today because I know that God is working out some things. Uh, God is working out some things in you and he's working out some things in me. And so we think of something when you have to work some things out, it means it's a process. It's a process. It, it reminds me, uh, we, we have an area at my job called loss, loss mitigation, and that there is our foreclosure department. And so they have an area called, called the workout department. And what they do is that they work with you so you do not lose your home. They work, they, they work with you to try to modify your, your, your mortgage payments. They, 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 work, they work with you so your credit doesn't, uh, 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 doesn't become challenged. They will work with you. So sometimes it's a process because they need all your financials, your income, and everything. And they will try to work out a plan where they can save your house and save your credit at the same time. See, there's certain things that God has some things. He is doing what? He, he is vindicating us. He is working some things out. In the easy standard version, this particular word means fulfill. Fulfill. Oh, I love that. Fulfill. Why? Because that which God has spoken, he's able to bring it to pass. Do you hear me? That which God has spoken, he's able to bring it to pass. So God is going to fulfill. He's going to make his word good. He's going to, that there which, which he has established, it will manifest it will manifest it will manifest so we see here that god is going to perfect some things he's going to vindicate some things he's going to work out some things he's going to fulfill some things uh, there's other translations in the bible that says uh to to utilize that word he's going to accomplish he's going to complete he's going to avenge or do everything for but what most of all he's going to perfect uh-huh he's going to to imperfect but isn't the word perfect the best way god accomplishes everything because the bible declares that what the best way god accomplishes everything is what he makes all things good he makes all things well uh-huh he makes all things new he he is a god see the thing about it is we got to understand the way that God perfects me is not necessarily the way that he's going to perfect you. He knows what is needed for your next. Some of the things that you had to go through, some of the things that you had to uh, experience was to build you, was to strengthen you, was to get you to where you need to go. Because each of us have a different assignment. Each of us have a different purpose and what and what it takes for me to be built up to go to my next might be different for what it takes for you to be to go to to go to go to to go to your next. I remember it might have been about ooh, maybe about 15 years ago, maybe even longer than that. Yeah, about, about, about I think it was about 15, about 15, 20 years ago, about 15, 20 years ago. I um I was home. I was I, I was in school. So that'd be about twenty years ago. Well, how old am I? Yeah, maybe about no, about fifteen years ago. I was in school and I was home. I was doing I was doing my schoolwork. I was actually writing a paper. I was in school and then uh one of my girlfriends called me and she's like, Doctor Williams. I said yes, sweetheart. She says I I need you to get your clothes on and I uh need you to come to this 
ordination. I'm like, what? What happened? She said, I'm having an anxiety attack and, and I just need you here. I just need you here. I said, oh, okay. So I got, so I, so I got, so I, so I got dressed quickly. I went down to the hotel in which they were having the, the ordination and I was there. I thought to just to support. So I was there. So I was there. I got there. So you good. You're all right. And, uh, yeah, I'm good on right. I just, you know, I just needed, I just needed that support. Fine. So I'm there in the audience, la la la. You know, uh, my, you know, just there, just, just, just there, there for support. I did, I, I, I did like a superwoman. Just kind of got myself together and just ran and got there. And so, and I'm there, and uh, she was the speaker of the hour. The next thing you know, her armor bearer comes over to me and says she's having another panic attack. She can't do it. She wants you to preach. She wants you to preach for her. I'm like, are you kidding me? I we got a hotel room full of people. Might have been about two, three hundred people in here. Hotel room full of people, and you want me to give an ordination message, and uh, and so and I probably should have put two and two together, and so I said, okay, fine. So I got up there, and uh, God bless you. Da 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 da. I did. I did what I had to do. The Lord moved. The Lord blessed. And, um, you know, I just do what I do, you know, and so, uh, the, the Lord, the Lord bless. And so then afterwards, it was somebody else that was there and, um, some, one of, one of my other uh, girlfriends, she walked over to me. She was like, um, wow, wow. I don't think I, I um, could have ever did that. You know, I kind of thought you know, that, you know, I was on your level. I was on your grade. But when I saw that, I realized I, I have some more growing to do. And I'm looking at her like, like what? And like, when um did this come about being on people's levels and, be, and, and being on people's grades? And so I just, you know, I looked and I just, I, I, I don't even think I made a comment. I think I just smiled and just kept it moving. Because some, because let me tell you something, some statements do not even require a response, okay? Let me just tell you that right now. Some statements, and listen to me, children. Some statements do not even require a response. Do not, do not even go there, because some, some things that people say out of their mouth is just too low. It is just too, 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 too low. And I said that I, I, I pondered it as I was driving home. And I said to myself, I'm like, what? What? Like, my level what, like, what? And like I was, and I'm tr I was trying to just kind of calibrate the whole thing and trying to trying to work through it in um my mind I said when did it come to where I'm higher than you I'm lower than you I'm on your level that and I sat there and I and I thought about it and then I it came it, it came back to me the other day I don't know why certain things just come back to me and I was just here and it came back it came back to me and I said you know what there was a process that I went through, you know, it just didn't boom, you know, I, I was teaching, I've been teaching Bible school for what, 20, 20 years, 25 years, I've been in, you know, I've, I've gone, I, I've gone through Bible survey up into the doctorate level, not only the theological education, I also have my secular education as, as well, and, you know, I, I've, I've teach classes, and there's been times where pastor couldn't to do do something and call me last minute to come to come cover a class for him or go cover a service for him or something like that. So I was in the process. I was in the making. So when something like this happened, I was able to just pull on that which was which was in me. There's a process that we have to go through, and my and, and my processing was much different than her processing. And so we got to understand. Sometimes children, we got to understand just because. Because we're looking on the outside in and we're looking at someone on the other side and so well I can do what they do and I can be who they are you got to understand there's a price behind it you got to understand there's a price behind it there's a price behind the oil that you carry each and every one of you that's listening to the sound of my voice there is a price behind what you carry there is a price behind what you carry. Do you hear me? There is a price behind what you carry. They weren't there when the tears was coming down your face. They wasn't there when you were going through in your home, going through on your job, going through 
and of your health, going through and of your mind, and the list is go that the list goes on, going through in your marriage, going through with your children. They wasn't there for that. And it wasn't only but for the grace and mercy of God that you that you are here. They don't even know what you go through right now. They don't even know your private struggles. They don't know the things that you have to do just to keep them sane because of the warfare and things that come upon you. But understanding and knowing that God that God has a plan. Understand and know that God has a plan. And everything that I'm going through and everything that I'm dealing with right now, going back to Romans 8 and 28, it does... It, it is all working together for the good. It is all working together for the good. Do you hear me? It is all working together for the good. God is working these things together for us to get to where we need to go. So I want to say to the many of you, and I, I'm going to stop here because it's seven. I know many of you have to go, have to go to work. But I want to say, I want to say to the many of you that that what you're going through right now, there is a plan. God, God has a plan. Some of it might not feel well. Some of it might be very challenging or it might be the opposite. You might be going through some things and, and, and you might be ex experiencing some things. You might have a job that you love. You might have things that you're doing. It's all a part of the plan. God is working these things out for your good and my good. Why? Because he has a greater, he has a, a greater assignment, a greater plan for our lives. And he knows what you need when you need it to get you to where you need to go. One thing he doesn't want you to do is get to where you need to go and be, and be an epic fail. And be an epic fail. You will not be an epic failure in this hour. You will not be an epic failure in um this season god has a great things great things in store for you he is establishing some things in your life he is building you to get you to where you need to go and i just speak the strength of god on you i strength i speak the power of god on you i strength i speak the anointing of god on you keep on doing what you're doing understand and know that god has a plan for your life what did i tell you earlier that the lord will do what he he will perfect he will vindicate he will work out and he will fulfill yes he will these things the lord he will do so every now and then the devil will pull up a chair on you if you haven't been saved long enough i'll let you know that he will pull up a chair on you and when the enemy pulls up a chair on you sometimes he tries to make you feel as though God has forgotten about you. And I keep encouraging you. And I keep letting you know that the Father has not forgotten about you. He's just working some things out. Why? Because he's going to complete that which he has started. Do you hear me? He's going to complete that which he has started. In this hour, there, there will not be any epic failures. Do you hear me? There will not be any epic failures. We will fulfill the purpose, the plan that he has for our lives and we will walk into what he has established amen 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 i'm going to stop here because i know that uh we're all back to work some people are still working from home some people are now getting on buses and trains and so i want to be sensitive to um the happy the, the half an hour again happy happy uh july and i'm just i'm gonna get quiet today and i'm gonna hear what the lord has to say for the month of july i just really do believe that we're just in that season of the divine turnaround he has said to me it's not a month i said oh june is the month of divine turnarounds and he said uh-uh i said i didn't tell you to say the month i just told you that we're in the season of the hour of the divine turnaround so i said okay so again i'm going to speak that Again, over us as we as we are in this season of our lives, things are turning around. Things are turning around. You're going to look and the thing that used to vex you, the thing that used to upset you, the thing that you used to challenge you, just like the, the, the children of Israel, the enemy that they saw today, they will not see anymore. Mm -hmm. And some of you are about to see a change that's about to happen in your life. Watch God. Watch God. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is moving in um, your life. The favor of the Lord is what is going to do some amazing things and stir us up and get us to where to, to where to where he has planned. Amen. Amen. So as you go forth today, I pray that you are blessed. Sorry, conference call people, the call drop, but you're still on. I appreciate you. And for those of you that 
are listening via True Life Radio, YouTube, um, uh, Facebook Live. Uh, I, I pray that the blessings of the Lord be with you even as we enter into this next hour of our lives. That the, the, that, that the Lord's hand be upon you. That his face shines upon you. That the favor of the Lord surrounds you. And most of all, that in this hour, the Lord gives you your heart's desire. That in this hour, the Lord gives you your heart's desire. You, you've gone through the fire and you've gone through the water. But thank God that now he's bringing us into a wealthy place. Amen. Amen. As you go, as you go today, uh, pray for me that I maybe can get maybe another hour of sleep before I have to go to work. But uh, we'll pray. We'll, uh, my, my prayer is as the Lord continues to keep you and strengthen you. May the Lord be your shield, your buckler, and most of all, your great reward. Amen. Amen. Remember this as, as today as you go with God. Remember, God will certainly go with you. Have a blessed, wonderful, and awesome day in Jesus' name. God bless you, everyone.